Singapore is looking at ways to tax wealth practically. The remarks by Second Minister for Finance Indrani Raja have come in response to Workers' Party MP Jameis Lim's adjournment motion on wealth taxes. Dr. Lim has proposed higher tiered taxes on net wealth that aim to reduce inequality. While our overall tax system may be pro progressive, that is, the effects are felt more keenly by the rich than the poor. A quarter of our taxes remain regressive, even with the current voucher scheme. Uh, the GST, for instance, affects lower middle and middle income families disproportionately more than the wealthy, while only contributing around 11% of revenue. For instance, Dr. Lim proposed an increased estate duty on properties with value exceeding $5 million. In response, Ms. Indrani Raja said that the government is in agreement with constantly looking for ways to supplement its revenue, while noting that the design of the GSC system is tilted more in favor of helping the middle and lower income groups. She said Singapore will continue to review wealth tax with a focus on doing so effectively, such that it cannot be avoided easily. There's also the need to strike the right balance. Businesses and individuals will still look at tax rates. And it must be remembered that wealth can move. Talent, both Singaporean as well as foreign, can move. Companies can move. So we have to tax in a way that is competitive and allows people and companies to generate revenue in order to encourage them to stay here and that revenue then can be used and reallocated and redistributed.